OK, uh, speaking of great teams, let's talk about England. Liam, uh, huge game tonight against uh, Colombia, who may have James back. Uh, they were most impressive when he played against Poland. Now, admittedly, Poland were dire, but you've got to score the goals. They beat them 3-0. Um, what's your read on England, Liam? First, and how well, we don't know, Eamon. and that's it's, it's as simple as that. We don't know. We well, some had a very easy, <clears throat> a very easy group to qualify to get to the World Cup in the first place. I think they went through the group m- winning every game except one. I think. I, I hope I'm correct there. Yeah. Then in the then in the in the, in, the, in the World Cup itself, in the in the qualifying group, they had Panama and uh, Tunisia. 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 They were they were easy games, Eamon. They were easy games. You didn't judge them in the third game because they changed their team completely. So we don't really know. I have I have a feeling when they come up against a side that has talented players, and make no mistake about it, Colombia will be very technical. All South American teams are. Yeah. And I have a feeling Colombia will give them a lot of difficulty. However, I think England have a decent side this this time round. I think they're very, very strong at set pieces. And then Harry Kane, they have a goal scorer who's bang in form. So I would give it edge edge to England to get through. But sooner or later, I, I think they're going to come up against a team that has more talent than them. With Henderson in the middle of the park on his own, I think uh, is, is, is going to be pro- problematical going forward. And the three lads at the back trying to play out, I don't really trust. I've seen enough of them that there's big mistakes in Maguire and big mistakes in Stones and possibly Walker. So uh, I, I, I think they've got every chance to get to the semi-final, but then it'll all end. OK, 